So hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CBB Nuts video series on exception handling series and this is about re-throwing your exception again after catching it. So you might be wondering like why would you re-throw? So this topic is about that only like what could be the reason why would you want to re-throw again? So let's look at the scenario first. So we have let's a, a function here and this is in try block. Okay, we are calling in try block. Now we have a catch block here and this function let's say is having some definition void fun and this is the definition here and we have int main. So this is how it is going to be. We have try start and end catch start and end and this is the function what we are going to call inside this try. So possibility is inside this function also there is one try and we have a catch here itself. Now you are executing something here which is actually throwing exception and after throwing you know it will come here but from here again you can throw then this guy is throwing to this guy. Can you make out? This is this function and this is inside this try block. So that's what the rethrow means. You can have multiple level of function calling and then from there you can rethrow as many times you want. So this is called rethrow. Let's try to understand what is the use of rethrow. So first point is let me have the first point. We can say the first point is before throwing you want to do some operation and then you want to actually throw. So for example, you can release the database pointer before actually throwing back to the higher level classes. So for, for now, I'll just write before going to the higher level, you want to perform some operation. Cool, right? I mean, this is just invented. Okay. Second is if whatever you throwed and some catch have actually catched it, if they decide that, okay, we are not the correct catch block, we should actually throw it again to the higher level so that someone can actually handle this properly. So if catch block decides or can't handle the catch exception, then only it will re throw or third can be like you have subsequent roles to actually undo or something. So let's say when you started everything, it was in this way. First you did something second you did something else and then you was doing this particular job now this is throwing exception then you will have to roll back everything now to roll back everything you cannot write this guy's roll back here itself no you will have to tell okay i have finished roll backing here now you take care of your roll backing and then it did its own rollback. It has settled down all the pointers and every connection and everything. Now this guy is again throwing back to this one. Now you handle your stuff. And let's say this was the first instantiation, then this is done. I mean, you have rolled back pretty well. So this is also the case. So we can think about so many cases. Why would you want to rethrow? So let's quickly see the code and we'll understand it a little better. So this is fairly simple example here. What I'm doing is, see, just the, the same function what I was talking about. This is the function. We are printing this and then we are just throwing this exception. We are catching that exception here and this is the rethrow. Now we are rethrowing it. It was thrown and now we are rethrowing. So this is called rethrowing. And this rethrowing will come here. So what I said, you will catch here just after this to do some handling which is actually local to this particular function or local to this job and then you will rethrow. So the caller of this f function will take care of its own stuff. If it was a series of execution and series of function calls then we have to kind of undo all the things what we did right. So in that case you might do this. So yeah let me just quickly compile this and we'll run this. See, this is the execution. You can pause the video and try to understand like what is the flow here. And next video is about stack unwinding. This is very important topic. 
if you are little senior like two three years of experience then people might ask you this so stay tuned for the next video stack unwinding yeah so till then bye bye take care